So, good day to my uh, students in CHN1, Community Health Nursing 1 under the BSN2 uh, program. Okay, so this is a video uh, tutorial on your uh, topic, uh, family and the nurse, uh, which is the first topic of our uh, course or subject in Community Health Nursing 1. Okay, so I know that you have already read okay, the contents of our LMS, but this video lecture will uh, serve as a um, supplement to your uh, studies or to your readings. Okay? So let's start with the first topic, which is the family and the family uh, health and or, sorry, um, the family and the nurse. Okay? So the first topic, what is a family? So let's uh, discuss first no, the concepts or definition of a family. If you remember in your activity, I asked you to describe your own family okay? and uh, based on your readings and your own experience. And so uh, to have a uniform meaning and uh, idea and knowledge of, um, of a family, this would be our um, this would be our common uh, concept or even principles in family or of a family. Okay, so family is a group of people related by blood, marriage, or even adoption, and uh, who is living together. Okay, so in this definition, this does not relate to to gender. It does not relate to other uh, relationship. Okay, or other factors that leads to a marriage. Uh, it's very uh, general. Ang uh, sinabi lang dito is related by blood, okay, by marriage, or adoption. Okay, which is parang ngayon din, in our times, uh, when you say marriage, it has many uh, connotations, it has many ideas coming from different people. Uh, so, <clears throat> um, there are also other uh, ideas, other definitions that you have already learned about a family. Okay? So, kahit na, uh, sa family, based on this definition, usually it's at least two persons. Okay? Two persons um, living together. Okay? This is uh, kasal lang. On this definition, no? Pero tayo, syempre, we have um, our own views also. Okay? They should be related by blood or by marriage or by adoption. Or, pwede mo nang sabihin na by choice. Okay? So, iba-iba po yung um, konsepto ng family sa atin. Okay? Uh, according to Allender and Spadley in 2004, family is two or more people who live in the same household. Okay? Uh, usually, they share a common emotional bond and perform certain interrelated social tasks. Okay, so doon magsisimula, okay, uh, sa emotional bond. No? Uh, parang nagkaroon sila ng understanding, mutual understanding, emotional understanding, nagsama sila, and they consider themselves as a family. And they also, uh, they also um, assist, um, pursue no? a, uh, a, common task, common responsibility, duty, okay? um, typical of a family, okay? They have the same or uh, common goal, yun yung parang sinasabi nila na they are on the same page, okay? And usually they accept this, uh, this definition better uh, comparing to the first one because uh, uh, sabi sa ating uh, LMS na nilagay natin, no? it addresses the broad range of types of families. Okay, mapa uh, nuclear, extended, mapa ano pa yan, a common law, or married by church. Okay, so uh, this is 
sabi no, ng mga references is more acceptable the definition or meaning ng family again is two or more people who live in the same household uh, and uh, share a common emotional bond and perform certain interrelated social tasks parang pag kayo tinanong ko no para sa inyo ano ba ang family how would you define family maybe you would also give me another meaning okay so kaya po para tayo na magkaroon ng ng same concept same idea same knowledge about the family we have this lecture okay and so again calendar is probably 2004 two or more people who live in the same household and share a common emotional bond yun yung yung talagang pinaka kumbaga uh, factor no? yung emotional aspect ng dalawang tao na nagsama okay? which is I believe until now is one of the reasons uh, why uh, certain two people no? or, uh, or uh, choose to live together okay Then, family is a very important social institution. Uh, as we all know, this is also uh, considered no? uh, uh, before we go to the community as a client. Talaga, we studied a family first because it's the, the social unit of a community. And uh, sabi dito, it has two major functions which are uh, reproduction and socialization according to uh, Araceli Maglaya, a Filipino author on uh, community health nursing. Okay. So, um, a family also performs uh, healthy or health promoting and health maintaining uh, practices no, or activities and in family also even disease preventing activities. Okay. And uh, commonly, uh, before the doctor or the nurse uh, decides okay, for, for a family member, yung family mismo ang, ang talagang uh, nagbibigay ng decision okay, on health matters. And um, it is the source of the most solid support, dapat, uh, uh, of, of an individual family member, and particularly to the young, to the elderly, disabled, or to the chronically ill. Ibig sabihin, these are the, the, the types of family members who cannot or who is unable or uh, not capable of making a decision for their own. Halimbawa, yung young, sabi niya, no? yung mga young children, they cannot decide on their own. So, you have a family as a support system, even in health situations, na mag-decide para sa'yo. And, Obviously, hopefully, it should be for the good of that family member. Siyempre, uh, even the elderly, disabled, ganun din po. Okay? So again, there are two major functions of a family, reproduction and socialization. So, syempre, uh, yung reproduction, ibig sabihin, that's the multiplication of, of number okay? of a population. That is given because uh, that's one of the no, nga po, no, functions, that's one of the purpose of having a family also. No? Mag-anak, madami ang, ang population. Okay? Uh, more challenging one is siyempre yung socialization. How you deal with other people, with other families. Kasi uh, you, will be, uh, you will be brought up to a certain family. And how will you, how you will, uh, sorry, how you will socialize to other families so other people is is uh, the task of a family especially the parents okay kung paano ka magsalamuha sa tao paano ka magpagkapwa tao no uh, nasa family mo yan magsisimula okay it's not only charity begins at home but that's one in general socialization begins at home begins in a family okay uh, family, according to Friedman, are two or more persons who are joined together by bonds of sharing and emotional closeness. Again, that's that aspect of emotion. Okay? And who identify themselves as being part of the family. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, adapted. Uh, ano ako nito? Ako nito? So, even though sometimes you are not by blood, a family member, they consider you a family. Okay? 
okay and uh, since uh, again there's that certain aspect uh, which is very common to different uh, definitions of a family which is the emotional aspect okay uh, kaya nga po sabi dyan, kahit hindi kayo related by blood, pero related kayo by heart, by emotion, uh, you consider that to be a family already. Iba na usap pa nga sa atin yung uh, sister from another mother, brother from another mother, ganun ka-close. O yung pag-identify mo sa sarili mo or ng ibang tao, sa ibang tao, as a part, as, as part of a family. Okay? So again, family is uh, two or more persons who are joined together by bonds of sharing and bonds of emotional closeness and who identify themselves as being part of the family. Then according to primary healthcare, no? family is the basic social institution and the primary group in the society as we have already mentioned in the previous slides. And it's a social group characterized by common residence, economic cooperation, and reproduction. So this one is very uh, 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 depending on it's depending on the situation. Po. Uh, so let uh, alone word the common residence. Uh, you may be family, but you're already living okay, to other uh, household or to another residence. Uh, pero dito sa definition na ito. Again, we are having different types of, of definitions here coming from different authors. Okay? Para dito sa PACS, it is in a common residence. Okay? Pamilya niya. Okay? Economic cooperation and reproduction. Diyan mo naman maitulihan yung mga tasks, mga function ng isang family. Uh, hindi lang puro emotion hindi lang po emotional aspect ang focus ng pagkakaroon ng family. Okay? Dapat meron din economic cooperation and reproduction purposes which we have uh, discussed before. So pag sabi mo economic cooperation, you basically may task ka to, to contribute to the family. Okay? Which is very, ano rin po, very common when it comes to extended family, di ba? Uh, meron yung mga contributions lalo na sa magastusin sa bahay. Okay, so um, this is another different uh, meaning of a family. So a family also includes both sexes, at least two of who maintain a socially approved sexual relationship and one or two children. Okay, but later, diba, tsaka dependent sa, sa uh, you have already read this one, hindi naman sinasabi na dapat may anak to be a family. Uh, in diet family, especially for those who are starting. Uh, so, uh, includes both sexes. They, uh, based on po dito, no, sa definition, ito, hindi niya sinabi lalaki babae. Uh, pwede yung bab, uh, uh, very, ano na ngayon kasi, very, uh, I know it's an issue pa rin sa Pilipinas. Uh, it's still a concern in the Philippines. Uh, we're talking about sex uh, same sex marriage pero syempre no based sa bible it's only the man and woman no uh, syempre iba naman yung uh, pananaw din ng iba we need to respect them okay and uh, nasa sa inyo rin po yung view ninyo okay what is your view on that okay so again it includes both sexes these two of who maintain a socially approved sexual relationship and the new word na approved sexual relationship okay, and no and one or two children but if we are going to take it in a context huh? this is talking about a man and a woman okay, and then having children ito nakita lang natin ito usually no Family, father, father and mother implying the presence of children where love must be revealed between you and me. Okay? So, what are the different types? I know you have read this one. Let's have a review on this uh, topic. So, there are two basic family types. One is family of orientation. Okay? So, here the family is the, uh, where one is born 
into if you swing dyan ka pero nalak sa pamilya na yan okay or uh, one self mother father and siblings if any if you sabihin kung kung uh, ano ito a family of orientation has a mother has a father you and your siblings yan pa ibig sabihin yan no? you and your siblings kung if you have siblings kung meron ka mga kapatid eh, ibig sabihin dyan ka lalaki uh, you will be brought up to that family kaya dyan ka ma-orient sa mundo sa buhay dyan magsisimula yung orientation mo with the people that you have immediately after your birth syempre mother mo father mo siblings if you have any Okay. So, family of orientation. The next one is family of procreation. Okay. When you say procreation, this is family which is establishing. Huh? Or oneself, the spouse, or significant other and children. Pag sinabi mo oneself, parang ikaw yun. Whether you are a, ano, uh, dito kasi hindi niya mabinagkit kung lalaki mo ba ba sa you're referring to one person, his or her spouse, the children, the significant others. Uh, and when you say procreation, temporary main is the, the person and the spouse. And they have the family of procreation. They will establish a family. Paano? Pagkaroon ng mga anak. Okay, this is the family of procreation. Again, two types, two major types. Family of orientation from the word orientation uh, doon ka ma-orient sa buhay sa mundo doon ka lalaki uh, uh, kung paano magiging pananaw mo sa buhay later pananaw mo habang bata ka especially will come from your family okay procreation is pagpaparami and family especially the, the establishing of a family So, yeah, let's uh, proceed to the different types, subtypes of a family. So, when you say diet family, it consists of two people living together. Okay? So, when you say diet, um, it's generally viewed as temporary arrangements uh, for the rest. But if the couple chooses child-free living, this can also be a lifetime arrangement. Okay? Kaya bakit sinabing temporary arrangement? Kasi usually this is attributed to the newlywed couple or newly uh, acquainted, uh, not really acquainted, newly um, uh, which is, uh, decided na, na couple to be together. Kaya gusto niya magsama. Yan na yan. It's man and woman without children. Okay? So yun yung diet. Okay? It means, uh, it, it means two people, two persons living together okay, without children okay, and then sa nag-umpisang pamilya let's uh, take for, for example, no, yung married couple na kakasal lang na walang anak okay, and sabi nga dyan, this can be a temporary arrangement yung walang anak or even lifetime, okay, di ba minsan meron naman yung mga iba na kinakasal pero ayaw mo nilang mag magka anak mo na Sabi nila, enjoy muna natin yung isa't isa before we have children to really have uh, responsibility na. The nuclear, okay, this is the most common one. Um, it consists of two people, uh, sorry, it is composed of a husband, wife, and the child or the children. Okay, most common structure. Advantage of this is the ability to provide support to family members. Lalo na yung, yung, yung couple, yung, yung sabi natin uh, parents, okay? Because with its small size, people feel genuine affection for each other, okay? So, depende rin naman ito pag sinabi mo nuclear kasi it does not really define the number of children. Okay, basta sinabi dyan, meron ko anak, ah sorry, may mag-asawa na may mga anak. Okay? It's not really saying na large family. Okay? Kasi... There can be another type of family for larger ones, okay? But pag nuclear family, sabi mo kasi ang common connotation dito is small family, small numbered family, okay? So that is diet and 
nuclear family. Next is cohabitation. Okay, are composed of heterosexual couples who live together like a nuclear family but remain unmarried. So, parang yung common law, house, uh, husband and wife, or yung tinatawag din na live-in partners. Okay, nagsasama sila, pero hindi sila kasal. Okay, again, it's up to their preference. No? Uh, we're not really uh, mentioning people or judging other people here. It's uh, classified as one of the types of a family. Again, cohabitation is a family uh, composed of heterosexual couples who live together um, like a nuclear family but the main unmarried. So, pag sinabi natin heterosexual, it's between a man and a woman. Okay? It can be temporary. Ibig sabihin, parang dinihan lang na magsama na hindi kasal pero later on, magpapakasal din. Or it can be long lasting. Okay? Uh, Di ba, may mga kailangan natin matagal na nagsama pero hindi kinasal o hindi pa kinakasal. Or decision nila hindi magpakasal. Okay? And uh, sabi dito, no, it may be long lasting and as meaningful as a more traditional alliance. Okay? And therefore offer as much as psychological comfort and financial security as marriage. So, sabi niya, ibig sabihin nun, kahit hindi sila kasal by law or by church, pero yung pagsasama nila, parang uh, uh, pagsasama din ng isang kinasal na, na, mag, na isang lalaki at babae. Okay? Nandun pa rin yung psychological comfort, nandun pa rin yung financial stability, security nila na mag-asawa as live-in partners. The next is the extended family. Very common sa atin dito sa Pilipinas. No? Includes not only one nuclear family but also other family members such as grandmothers, grandfathers, pwede aunts, uncles, cousins, and even grandchildren. Okay? Sabi nga, sabi ko kanina, very common dito sa Pilipinas yan. No? Um, we are considered to be one of the the close-knitted no? family in the in the world or hindi lang sa Asia okay? I don't know if some of you are living in this type of family no? kasama mo yung mga no? lola mo, lola, 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 Advantage contains more people to serve as resources during crisis and provides more role models for behavior and values. Okay? So, nandun na naman yung, uh, yung, yung concept ng contribution mo sa family. Okay? As a resource person. No? As a provider of resources. Ano ba? Kung marami kayo, o ako na, kami na bahala sa kuryente, kami na bahala sa tubig, kami na bahala sa grocery, sa pagkain. Okay, kami na mag-buy nito. Yeah, that's one of the advantage. Uh, pero pag sinabi naman disadvantage ng isang extended family, okay, uh, before pala doon, sabi dyan, it provides more role models. Okay? So, maraming ehemplo sa family. Maraming uh, role models sa family, especially for those who are growing up. Okay? Disadvantage naman, family resources such as financial and psychological must be stretched to accommodate all members so de lalo na pag marami kayo sa pamilya okay so uh, lalo na kapag ikaw ay breadwinner natas marami kang asin uh, suportahan extended hindi lang nuclear so this would really be an advantage for you this really would be stressful for you uh, sabi nga dyan, it's uh, it causes uh, uh, financial and psychological uh, strain on your part, uh, stress on your part because you're the only uh, assist, you're the only uh, breadwinner tapos ang dami nyo sa, sa extended family or kahit naman lahat yan nagko-contribute gaya na sabi natin sa advantage depende pa rin sa number of family members mamaya pala ang dami nila dun sa family hirap pa rin no, to to uh, to face financial obligations uh, 
uh, especially bills and other expenses in the family. Single parent family. Okay, really understandable. Single parent is either solo mother or solo father. Okay, increase is a result of both the high rate of divorce of the increasingly common practice of women raising children outside marriage. Okay, because when they cancel, so they end up separated. Like, remember, this is a Filipinas for that time divorce. Okay, separation is only. So the problems here, uh, sorry, is if uh, the parent is ill, huh? mag-isa ka eh. Sorry, sorry po. Mag-isa ka. So, wala kang aasahan na iba. Uh, kapag nagkasakit ka, okay? uh, sino na ngayon ang susuporta sa mga anak mo? Sabi nga doon sa ating readings, there is no backup person. Huh? There is no other um, uh, support system, siguro. Your, your, how is this? Your parents, your siblings, sila. Usually, ganun, di ba? Your cousins, sila nag-aalaga. Sa kanya mo, iniiwan yung mga anak mo. Kung ikaw ay single parent at wala kang maasahan na asawa. Okay? Uh, what else? Uh, what is this? Paano naman kung yung anak mo, no? Kung may sakit. Okay? Again, there's no support system which is considered to be a husband or a wife mag ka na naman uh, to support it I mean, your, your child, you support your child or you will ask support or help from other people Okay? Uh, problema din dito, paano pag low income ka? Okay? Uh, because uh, it says, uh, you cannot provide properly for your child or children kapag uh, Mayroon kang mawawang sahod. They may also have difficulty with role modeling or clearly identifying their role in the family. Ah, okay? So, halimbawa, lalo na when we, say we are talking about roles in the family or roles of a person. Okay? This is usually felt if the, the child who is a boy is raised in, in, in uh, with a single mother, ah, siyempre wala siyang role model na lalaki. Okay? Pag ganun din pag babae, tapos tatay nagpapalaki, mag-isa, ganun din po, walang role model na babae. Okay? So there can be no? uh, confusions, there can be uh, difficulties when you know, talk about uh, roles or even gender roles. Okay? Uh, depende yan eh, kasi di ba, uh, meron niya mga uh, experience ng iba. Okay? Again, ito kasi, uh, uh, nanay ko kasi nagpalaki sa akin. Uh, hindi ako marunong sa ganito kasi wala ko role model na ginagawa pala ito ng mga, uh, ito pala yung trabaho ng mga babae. Wala kasi akong nanay. Ito pala ang trabaho ng lalaki sa bahay. Wala kasi akong tatay. Okay? So, iba kasi ang, ang palaki sa akin ng nanay ko. Iba pala kasi ang pagpapalaki sa akin ng tatay ko. Okay? So, there can be confusion, there can be difficulties, uh, challenges, and so, uh, iba pa rin siguro uh, sabihin mong kapag babae ka na anak, tapos meron yung nanay mo doon. Lalaki na anak, tapos meron pa rin yung tatay mo doon. Ibig sabihin, para more relatable ka. Okay? If you have the same sex na, na parent. Okay? The next is the blended family. Okay? Blended family or remarriage. Um, or reconstituted family, a divorced or widowed uh, person with children marries someone who also has children. Okay? That's remarriage uh, or reconstituted. Okay? A divorced or a widowed person with children marries someone who also has children. For example, ibig sabihin yung balo, may anak, kinasal din sa iba na may anak na rin. Pwedeng dalawang bala sila o kaya dalawa silang himalay na may mga anak na nakasama, nagsama sila. Okay, that is your blended family. Sorry. Uh, 
advantage sa manito ay increased security and resources for the new family. Okay? Children of blended family are exposed to different ways of life and may become more adaptable to new situations. Okay? More secured ka kasi meron ka ulit partner, meron ka ulit family members, no? may dagdagang family members. Buti kung maganda yung pakikutungo ng bawat isang pamilya sa isa. Okay? Because we usually hear din naman no? mga, mga, mga situations po na uh, hindi magkasundo yung Halimbawa, yung pamilya na bawat isa na nagsama na. Okay? Yan. And sabi dito, no, deeper advantage ito. No, psychological, uh, more than, than resources is, sabi dito, they will be exposed to different ways of life and may become more adaptable to new situations. Yan. So problem naman or disadvantage is, child rearing problems may arise. Bakit? Kasi baka magkaselosan yung, yung, yung anak ng isa sa isa okay? o magkaingitan. Meron magkaroon ng bangayan between two uh, family members of, uh, of uh, different uh, parent. Okay? So, napaka-importante dito na mag-usap uh, yung pamilya ng isang halimbawa, yung, yung babae, yung mga anak niya, tapos yung lalaki din natin yung mga anak niya. Okay, there can be rivalry, attention seeking uh, difficulties, uh, challenges, and what else? Children may not welcome the step parent also no? because they have not yet resolved their feelings of separation from their own biological mothers. Uh, ba, minsan, uh, may mga ganong concerns. Uh, uh, hindi magaan yung loob sa stepmother, sa stepfather. Mas gusto niya pa rin yung biological mother niya, biological sis father niya. At pwede rin naman ganun yung stepdad, stepmom dun sa biological children or child, no? Nung asawa niya na ngayon. Okay? So, napaka-importante yan. Um, what else? Communal family. Okay? Their relationship to each other is motivated by social or religious values rather than kinship rather than uh, the closeness that they have okay so it's more of social responsibilities social functions kaya sila magkakasama or even religious values rather than kinship okay for example is a church and they are considered to be family because of religious motivation not of social obligations but religious obligations well, Uh, ito naman, okay? So, uh, gay or lesbian family or the same-sex uh, marriage, same-sex family. Although, it's still a concern here in the Philippines. Uh, debate pa rin. No? Uh, one side would tell, ito yung pwede sa batas, one side would tell, ito yung sa batas ng Diyos. Okay? Uh, individuals of the same sex live together as partners for companionship financial security, and even sexual fulfillments. Okay? And so, uh, yun yung mga factors kung bakit magsasama ang dalawang homosexual uh, persons. Okay? So, they can offer support uh, in times of crisis, in times of emotional downfall or breakdown, and then sila. And, um, uh, paano ko sabihin ito? Pwede, pwede, sir, pwede ba sila magkaanap? Pwede by way of adoption or halimbawa yung isang partner na ka, ka, kasarian niya is may anak na no, from previous family tapos nagsama sila na let's say gay pala siya then nagsama sila ngayon ng isang uh, gay din or male or yung isa, for example, babae na may anak tapos may nakarelasyon na, na uh, lesbian. Okay? So, it's up to their own na, 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 uh, arrangements, to their own uh, decisions. Na. Or they can go for operations, diba? like uh, artificial insemination or uh, in vitro fertilization, okay? which is commonly done by other uh, people and even celebrities. Uh, uh, example dito si. Uh, 
Jewel Cruz, ha? yung may-ari ng isang sikat na brand ng uh, pabango dito sa Pilipinas. Okay? Yung ano pa, uh, yung sorry niya pa is, uh, what's this? Uh, Russia, ta, o basta for, uh, foreigner. Okay? Foster family, children whose parents can no longer care for them may be placed in a foster or substitute home by a child protection agency. So, para pinapampon na. Uh, pinapa-foster uh, sa ibang pamilya. Doon pa palakihin kasi hindi na kaya palakihin ng biological parents. Ang sabi dyan, children whose parents can no longer care for them. Okay? So, magkakaroon sila ng foster parent, foster homes, uh, papaalaga sila, papa-adapt sila, yan. or pwede yung papaalaga tapos mabayaran ng, ng biological parents yung yung pagpapalaki or gagastusin nyo na yung pagpapalaki. Foster parents may or may not have children of, of their own. Yung sila yan yung may gusto, no? Uh, na mag-foster or mag-adopt. Yan, yung mga uh, walang uh, children or child of their own. They receive remuneration for the care and concern for the foster child. Foster home replacement uh, is... Uh, Uh, temporary until children can be returned to their parents. Depende yan sa arrangement ng biological uh, parents at ng foster parents. So, pag-usapan natin ako pa, sa inyo muna siya, palakihin nyo, lagaan nyo, babayaran uh, kami na magbabayad ng monthly na uh, uh, gastusin niya, then uh, by his age, uh, kukunin namin siya ulit. Okay? Basta ay uh, Uh, i-recognize pa rin na kami yung parents kini ito ganyan. So, may arrangement. But that would be challenging also, no? On the part of, so, lalo sa part ng, ng bata o ng mga bata na ipapag-foster. At pwede rin naman sa part ng foster parents. Baka mamaya, mapamahal na sila talaga din sa uh, bata. Ayaw na nila ibalik. Pwede din yan. Huh? So, lalo na pag talagang nagkaroon ng emotional na Uh, kumbaga investment na dun sa bata. And when caring for children from foster homes, it is important to determine who has legal responsibility already. To determine who has uh, legal responsibility to sign for health care. Uh, when, if you're talking about health aspects, sino ba ang may responsibilidad na? Sino ba dapat ang pumirma? Sino ba dapat ang mag-design mag uh, para dun sa bata? Kung yung foster parent o yung biological parents. Next is the adoptive family. So we're talking about ano na dito, agencies naman to. Merong institusyon no? na kung saan pwede mag-adopt ng, ng magiging anak. Yung una, kasi usually two, two parties. Although pwede may pumagitan na, no? na, na institusyon. But here we are talking about adoptive institutions. Uh, uh, halimbawa, nauso din yan dati yung pupunta sa bahay ang punan, doon mag-adapt okay, so a couple contacts in, number, in agency okay, tapos magkakaroon na po yan ng mga uh, paperwork, documentations para ma-legally adapt na at maging legal na family member na siya nung adapting parents or adapting family okay So, dito, siyempre, sa Pilipinas, we have our DSWD who really uh, supervises or controls or manages itong mga institution na ito at yung mga proseso dapat. Okay? The family structures and functions based on internal organization and membership. Nuclear, tapang dito natin, also known as primary or elementary family. Pus yung elementary The, the starting family, the beginning family, the family where you have begun, the basic uh, structure of a family, composed of the father, mother, and children. Okay, extended, nabanggitan natin dito, composed of two or more nuclear families related to each other economically or socially, aside from emotional environment. Extensions may be brought and uh, may be through the parent-child relationships. When the unmarried children and the married children with their families live with the parents. Okay? Uh, explain natin kayo niya. Basta, um, says, um, 
sa isang bahay nandun yung parents, yung anak, yung grandparents, sa siblings in the second generation, yung uncle mo, auntie mo, okay? or extended din kapag ang isang uh, lalaki or isang family is nasa polygamous families. Okay? Uh, ibig sabihin, pwede ano, multiple ang kanyang asawa na nagkaroon din ng multiple uh, anak. So, it's considered to be multiple uh, family na and it can be considered extended lalo na kapag nasa iisang bahay lang sila. Okay? Then, based on place of residence. A patrilocal uh, requires a newlywed couple to live with the family of the bridegroom. So, titira sila dun sa parents ng babae. Okay? Ay, sorry, ng, ng lalaki. Okay? Patrilocal. Titira sila dun sa parents o malapit dun sa parents ng lalaki. Matrilocal requires a newlywed couple to live with the uh, bride's parents naman. Okay, pag matrilocal or even near the, the uh, parents of the woman. By locals provides a newlywed couple the choice of staying with either the groom's parents or the bride's parents depending on factors like relative wealth of the family, of the status, the wishes of the parents, or certain personal preference of the bride or the groom. Okay, so either... Uh, dito sila ngayon, next time nandito sila ngayon, nandito sila sa kabila okay? lalo na pag wala ka pang sariling uh, place of your own, a residence of your own you can be a bi-local uh, couple at, at first or family at first the local permits the couple to reside independently of their own na, so nakabukod na sila they have their own residence na more than that, is they can decide on their own na. Uh, wala nang sasabihin yung in-laws. Diba usually, narinig yung sigari yung, yung isa sa mga concerns kapag bago ang kasal. Uh, the insights of the in-laws. The relationship with the in-laws is also very important when you get married, sabi ka nila. Avun Kolokal prescribes a newlywed couple to reside with or near the maternal uncle of the group. Okay? Then sa kapatid na lalaki ng nanay niya. Okay? Yung husband, doon sila titira. Okay? Kasi para meron silang guide, para meron pa rin silang advisor, yan po. Yan based on decent. Okay? Patrilin niya. Fili sa person with a group of relatives through his or her father. Okay? Patrilin niya naman. Fili sa person with a group of relatives through his or her mother. Then, bilateral, affiliated kasi dalawa. Okay? Yung una kasi, patili niya para mas close ka sa mga relatives mo sa father side mo. Patili niya mas close ka, mas affiliated ka sa baba, sa, sa mother side mo. Ito naman, both families. Okay? Based on authority. Okay? So, usually, pag authority, who decides on the family? And pat patriarchal is invested in the is vested in the oldest male in the family, often the father. Okay? Huwag mo na yung father, matatayo na panganay na lalaki. Okay? <clears throat> Matriarchal is authority is vested with the mother or the mother's kin. Okay? Kung wala yung nanay, yung side ng magulang ang magdito side. Okay? Egalitarian, the husband and the wife exercises a more or less equal amount of authority. Okay? So, sorry, pantay lang sila sa pagdideside. Okay. Matricentic, prolonged absence of the of the father gives the mother a dominant position. Okay, halimbawa, yung father is of the value, lumuwas. Okay, so since wala yung father, but napagkasundoan is maging matricentic yung nanay ang mag-decide in the family, in the absence of the father. Although, okay, sabi dito, the father can still uh, contribute to the decision making. So, paano gagawin? May technology naman. Okay. Uh, at sila mag-uusap. Family functions. When you see family function, this is the ability of the family to meet the needs of its members through developmental transitions. Okay? To meet the needs of the members of the family. So, the family regulates sexual behavior and reproduction. 
Okay, napaka-important thing. Responsibility. And these are the indicators, no? That the family is meeting the functions. You regulate the behavior and the reproductive behavior of the, of, of the family member. Okay? Ganito ka dapat, oh, ah, tayo Pag babae ka, pag lalaki ka, ganito dapat. Okay? Ganito dapat ang iyong uh, galaw, asta. Kung meron pa ganun family ngayon, ah, dahil babae ka, dahil lalaki ka, ah, ayaw kong nasa third, uh, ano ka, uh, sex, uh, sex ka or gender ka. Eh, pwede yun. Kasi hanggang ngayon, meron pa mga family sa ganun. Even reproductive behaviors. Okay? Yun. It should be regulated. Okay? So, ibig sabihin ka na mabantayan, mag-guide, uh, especially for those teenage years, na napaka, napaka obvious ng pagbabago sa sexual behavior and reproductive behavior ng isang family member. And biological maintenance function. Okay? So, ayan yung parang daily needs, daily survival needs of a family member. Okay? Third, socialization function. Uh, sabi natin kanina, uh, it will, your family will train you, will, should teach you how to, to socialize, to deal with other people. Okay? Yeah. Kasi minsan, ano ka din diba, nare-recognize ka rin uh, yung, yung ugali mo at saka yung family, yung family mo. Okay? So, napaka-important yan. Ah, anak niya ano yan? Ganito yan. Huh? Iba yung talaga yung pagpapalaki dyan, ganito sila. Pwede positive, pwede negative. The family gives its member status. Okay? May pagkakakilala pa rin. May pagkakakilala ka pa rin as a, as a family member. Okay? So, nabibigyan ka na status kasi dito ka sa family. Ah, ano pala yan? Ah, ay, Elizabeth pala yan. Kito yung family. Ah, sikat yung pamilyang yan. Al alam nila yan. Ha? Uh, ano ba ako alam mo? Reyes yan, ganito yan. Okay? Uh, De La Cruz yan, ganito yan. Okay? So, your family gives you status in the community. Social control function. Uh, in, in relation to socialization, huh? uh, it's how you regulate yourself naman to other people. It's how you control yourself in response to other people also. Okay? Siyempre, you will not abuse your social uh, uh, authority, power, freedom, okay, towards other people. Economic functions, okay? <laughs> uh, we're talking about ano naman, contributions na naman dito in the family, okay? Uh, economically, no? Uh, economic contributions, for example, yan, yung gaya na pinagkit ko kanina, monthly dues, reduce monthly bills, expenses, and dyan lahat. So, ha, lalo na pag ikaw ay nakasama pa lang sa family na yan, meron kong contribution. Okay? Kung ayaw mong contribute, eh di, nagsasabihin sa'yo, bumukod ka. Diba? Sasabihin pa minsan, lumayas ka. <laughs> okay? So, uh, for as long as you're in your family, you have economic functions. Okay? Uh, these are other uh, indicators also no? from uh, other references that we have here. Just to have a run through of it, socialization of new family members, the regulation of members' behaviors with performance of expected roles. Ito mga nabanggit na natin. No? Uh, they are only presented differently. Adaptation to developmental transitions and expected crisis. So development of transitions is usually expected in your in, in your life, na yung pagbabago sa buhay mo. Uh, pwedeng physically, pwedeng psychologically na pagbabago, or um, other aspects. And, and the family will help you adapt to these changes of your life. Dapat. And creation of an environment for free expression by members. And, uh, this one. Uh, from the word expression, meron ka dapat voice daw sa family mo, um, uh, nakapag-express ka pa rin ng mabuti. You are not really um, uh, uh, over-controlled by your parents. Okay? Maganda yun. No? And support and assistance for one another, expression of loyalty to the family, participation, um, 
participation uh, in community activities, not only in the family but also in the larger fam uh, community, then involvement in problem solving, conflict resolution, acceptance of diversity among members. So, uh, ibig sabihin niya, no, sa isang pamilya meron talaga kayong pagkakaiba-iba uh, family members. Uh, may mga hilig kayo na magkakaiba, may gusto kayo na magkakaiba, sa pagkain, magkaiba, sa activities, magkakaiba. And what is important is you accept one another. Uh, kahit magkakaiba kayo ng mga gusto. And you accept the diversity. Uh, family characteristics. The family as a social group is universal and is significant element in man's social life. If you mean, it's universal, pangkalahatan. Oh, lahat belongs to a family. Okay? And a family is very important in one's life. Okay? Sabi nga naman online, no one is an island. You have a family. Sabi, sabi pa, at the end of the day, sa pamilya ka rin, babalik. So, ganun ka-importante. Huh? Doon ka rin simula, doon ka rin babalik. Okay? It is a first social group to which individual is exposed, just like we have mentioned earlier. This is your first environment. This will be the people who will develop you to be a person, to be a citizen. Um, uh, this will be the uh, the this will be the group of people who will uh, uh, be exposing you to the world, okay? and how you you will view life also. It is the setting of the most intense emotional experiences during the lifetime of the individual. Okay? So, yung mga highlights ng buhay mo is with your family. Siyempre, una dyan, sabi, pinanganak ka with the family, of course. Nagdalaga ka, nagbinata ka, uh, kinasal ka, uh, yung iba, nagdebug, kinasal, and even death. Okay? Andun pa rin. Masaklap naman kapag pinagdaanan mo yung later years mo, siguro na mag-isa ka lang. No? Sana walang makarana sa atin ng, uh, ng ganun. Okay? Until we, we become old. And the family affects the individuals. Sorry, may ano dapat apostrophe. Social values, disposition in life, and outlook in life. Yan sinasabi ko pa ulit ulit. No? Your views in life will be affected by your family until such time that you can develop your own views. Di ba? Kasi ikaw naman dito or ikaw naman pag-affect ng outlook ng ibang when you become a family member or if you, if you have developed your own family. The family has the unique position of serving as a link between the individual and the larger society. If you remember in our uh, LMS, may nakalagay doon ECOMAP. Uh, when you say ECOMAP, this is your uh, contribution from the family going to the community. Are you a student? Anong contribution mo sa community? Huh? Are you a professional? What's your work in the community? Or baka may work sa community na hindi naman related sa work mo talaga. Huh? Pero contribution nyo as a family. Okay, so ibig sabihin nito meron din societal uh, roles and responsibilities yung family. Okay? What can you contribute to them? What can be the link between you and the uh, uh, community. Siguro sa akin, pwede mo sabihin SK Chairman ka, pwede mo sabihin na, na estudyante ka doon, okay? and other bigger impact na contributions. The family is also unique in providing continuity of social life. Okay? Uh, hindi lang continuity, but sabi ko nga, the family is the first social life you have, then Diyan magdi-develop ang social life mo. It continues until even death. Ang kahit wala ng ibang tao, you have no consider social life from other people, but you still have your family that can continue it. Then family stages, I think that is one of the last topics. Uh, family stages. Beginning family. Okay? Nagsisimula ng pamilya. Okay? Siyempre, una-una dyan, establishment of the family of your own. Eh, paano? By having married okay, to your partner. Then planning to have or not to have children. It's still part of a beginning family. Okay? Pangalawa, childbearing. Okay, so number one, na decide nyo na gusto nyo magkaanak. Okay? Whether adoption or biological 
uh, away po, no? having and adjusting to infant, supporting the needs of all three members, uh, rene renegotiating marital relationships. Yung renegotiating marital relationship is dahil meron na mga kayong anak, baka magbago na yung roles ninyo, magbago yung sitwasyon nyo. So, kailangan as, a, uh, as, as partners, kailangan nyo pag-usapan. Okay? Kayo ba? My dear students, do you plan to get married? Huh? Uh, sino ang tipo nyo kasawa? Huh? Ilan ang gusto yung anak later on? Gusto nyo ba mag-anak din? Of your own? Reflect on that also. No? Family with preschool children. Pero syempre dapat tapos yung muna yung pag-nursing nyo. At maging nurse kayo either sa Pilipinas o saan nyo gusto. Yeah. With preschool children. Adjusting to the cost of family life by cost. Kasi magastos din yung magpapa, yung pagpapa-aral. Okay? Then adapting to the needs of the preschool. Okay? Coping with parental loss of energy and privacy dahil nga nung malaki niya yung anak no? na pwedeng sabihin nakaka-stress nakakapagod maging parent ano? pag toddler o preschool lang kulit magalaw ha? daming tinatanong sama na sama kahit saan di ba? sinasabi ko minsan nasa CR na ako pero daladala ko pa yung anak ko ha? nagpipihis ako naliligyo ako pero kasama ko pa yung anak ko ha? hindi siya mahiwalay sa akin okay? loss of energy and privacy Ayun, naalala nyo ba ng bata kayo kung ganyan kayo sa mga magulang ninyo? No? And next, family with school age children. So, nag-aaral na siya. Elementary, uh, minsan, ito yung ibig sabihin ng school age. Adjusting to the activity of the growing children. Promoting joint decisions between children and parents. So, the, the, the elementary child, is the, the school age child is also given ano na, mga light decisions. And so, it's a joint decision of encouraging and supporting children's educational achievements. And di ba? Lalo ngayon, no? very competitive. Nakapansin niyo ba? O pati kayo, competitive ba kayo sa mga kapatid niyo, sa mga nieces, nephews niyo? No? And sabi niyo, encouraging, supporting children's educational achievements. Okay? Uh, depends on the family niya, no? how they support the educational achievements uh, of, the ch of the child or the children. Family with teenagers and young adults. Okay, so nandito kayo. Makasama na kayo dito. And kayo yung considered teenager and young adult. Maintaining open communication, very important with your age, especially pag teenagers, young adults. Napaka-important communication between them and their parents. Supporting ethical and moral values within the family. Okay, napaka-ano din yung i-observe niya na, lalo pag... Pag ano, may sarili ka ng, sasabihin mo, may sarili na akong desisyon. Matanda na ako. Eh, hindi na ako bata. Yan yung malinyahan natin dyan, eh, di ba? So, um, uh, it is still encouraged no, to, to support, to view the ethical and moral values uh, of the family. At, uh, regardless kung, kung ano ka, bata ka or teenager ka na or young adult ka na. Okay? Releasing young adults with appropriate rituals and assistance. And so, halimbawa, young adult, and expected mo dyan is mag-start na rin siya magkaroon ng sarili ng relationships, ng gusto na mag-pamilya, or gusto na mag-work sa iba. Kaya nga sabi dyan, uh, releasing young adults. Okay? Gusto na mag-trabaho sa ibang lugar. Ayan. Uh, i-release ng, 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 ng magulang na yan. Okay? Then, post-parental family task. Okay? Sa so, post-parental, yes, strengthening mar marital relationships. Yan na. And maintaining supportive home base. Ibig sabihin ng post-parental is usually uh, emptiness ka na. Okay? Ibig sabihin ng emptiness is wala ka ng mga anak sa poder mo. Lahat sila may pamilya na din. Okay? Lahat sila bumukod na. So, it's between you and the wife. Alam. Okay? It's usually, this is uh, experienced by the elder uh, couples na. No? And they plan for retirement, maintaining ties with younger and older generations. Ay, na, pag may mga apo ka na. Okay? And yung older generations, ibig sabihin yung ka-generation mo na. Pag lolo ka na, lola ka na. The bond is there. Okay? 
aging family, adjusting to retirement na, adjusting to uh, this sad uh, loss of spouse. Okay, adjusting to loss of spouse. Okay, lalo na pag tagad nyo nagsama, ganun, nakaka-relate lang kasi ganun din yung uh, lolo-lolo ko sa mother's side. Uh, ilang years sila nagsama. As in, everyday hindi mo sila mapaghiwalay na. Lalo na nung retired na yung lolo ko. Okay, then they died also of the same year, ilang months lang, after celebrating their 60th wedding anniversary. Yeah. So, there's really one true love. Yeah. And, and levels of prevention, well, I know that you know this one already, but uh, let's just have a recap of this, and we're talking about the family level also. Yeah. So, when you say primary prevention, we're talking about specific protection against disease. So, wala pa sakit dito, but more on health promotion and disease prevention pa, primary prevention. So, sorry, the occurrence here is the most desirable form of prevention. Okay? Uh, yung protection is the most desirable way of prevention. And then, uh, pag uh, prevention efforts under under the primary level no uh, syempre walang gastos yan walang discomfort wala dapat threat um, uh, just wala dapat kahit pagsisimula pa lang ng sakit dapat wala yun okay so napaka importante nito sa ano natin sa ano ito sa sa primary prevention. Okay? So, basta tanda lang dito, wala po sakit ito. More on prevention, uh, sorry, more on protection and uh, promotion of health. The next is secondary prevention. It consists of organized direct screening efforts or education of the public to promote early case finding okay, of individual disease so that prompt intervention. So, ito more on uh, health maintenance ito. Uh, more on early diagnosis and screening tapos early treatment pag secondary prevention. Kaya yung mga screening natin, dyan napapalop yan. Screening test, diagnostic exams, dyan po napapalop. And tertiary prevention begins early in the period of recovery from illness. Yesterday, this is what you call uh, rehabilitation. Okay? So, it's uh, your goal here is to um, attain the 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 op the possible optimum level of health after a disease, okay? After a disease, and you also minimize the the complications of the disability or the disease. So that is your tertiary prevention. I advise you also to review this from your fundamentals of nursing, dear nurses. So that's all for our topic, family. Uh, the first part. Uh, this again, this is a supplement from your readings. I know you're very diligent, very bright students of mine. I'm proud of you. And thank you for being patient. I congratulate you in finishing the prelims uh, in this uh, new normal way of studying, of education. Thank you so much. God bless future nurses.